Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an image overlay onto your images. So you can go from an image that looks like this onto something that looks like this. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to do this, just in case you run into a situation where you can't use one of them, then you can use the other. All right. So the first way you create a class with the name of image. And inside of that, you create a class with the name of image overlay. And let's just add some text in here so you can see that you can add text inside. All right, now let's remove the default padding and margin. And we're also going to change the font family here. I'm going to be using a font called Nightlife. You might not have that in your computer. That's fine. You can use any font. All right, now for the image class, let's give this a width of 100 and height of 100 vh and of course this could be whatever width and height you want all right now for the image we're going to use background position center background size cover and background image url and i'm just going to control v to paste the url to an image that i'm going to be using for this project but this could be any image that you want to use all right now for the image overlay class we're going to give it a width of 100% and a height of 100 VH. And this is very important to set the same width and height in the image overlay class that you used in the image class here. All right. Now the trick happens with background color and it could be any color that you want. I'm going to use orange here, but just make sure that it's an RGBA color. Otherwise you won't be able to see the image in the back. So I'm going to use 0 0.5 here. Now let me just place this text in the center of the screen. All right, so I'm going to do display flex, justify content center, align item center. And I'm also going to change the color to white and I'm going to add a letter spacing of five pixels and a font size of three rem. All right, and that's how you would go about adding an image overlay onto an image. All right, now let me show you a different way to do this. So let's go back to our HTML. Let's get rid of the image overlay class. And over here, we just need this here. We can get rid of the image overlay class here. And we're going to paste the code in here. All right, and the only other thing we're going to add is going to be in here, background image. We're going to type linear gradient. Let's add a comma. And in here, we're going to type zero deg. And let's go ahead and use orange again. So we're going to type an orange comma orange. But we are going to use RGBA. So let's hover over that. And I'm going to go with 0 0.5, just like we did in the other one. And let's go ahead and copy this and replace this orange and now we have the exact same thing that we had the other way except this way we could do a lot more things with it for instance if i replace this rgba with transparent now we have transparent in the bottom and orange in the top and we also can play around with the degrees here i believe you can go up to 360 and if you don't want to use degrees you could use some of the built-in functionality for instance you can type in to bottom there's also to top to left and to right all right so what if you want to use more colors well all you have to do is just add the color that you want in here so in this case we're using transparent that's why there's only really one color here but let's add a red in here and let's use an RGBA as well. And to match everything up, I'm going to be using 0 0.5 in here as well. All right, and let's change this here from to right, even though you can do it that way as well. I'm gonna go with 45 degrees. And if you wanna add even another color, 
then you can just add it here by adding a comma. So let me add a blue. And I'm going to go with an RGB here as well of 0.5. So everything matches up. And voila. So that's how you would go about adding an image overlay onto your images. And as you can see, it makes the image look 10 times better. And that's going to be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. If this does not work for you for whatever reason, then you can go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Leave me a comment. Let me know what happened. I might be able to point you in the right direction. That's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.